Welcome back to First Education. This is Ed. Today I'm going to be talking about IDEnomics, IDX. You're going to find me going through technical analysis for this video, the uh, news, and what I think about the sticker at the very end. Make sure to drop a like to this video to help the channel grow, subscribe, and leave your notifications on. Without further ado, I'm going to jump right into it. And at any point, if you feel you're missing out on any of these technical indicators and what they mean, there's a playlist to describe it right below. Let's jump right in. You get to see here on the MACD on the month month one day, it is attempting a reversal sometime around the 2nd of September and then follow two red days that seems to have declined that reversal or refused that reversal. Moving on, on the ADX, we see a little bit of a sloppy movement. It's at 1357, which shows in a sideways kind of trade. On the billion percent R, it's sitting in neutral, even though it's at the, almost the lowest it has been for quite a bit, around $1.05 to $1.15. And we get to see here momentum is climbing up a little although it's sitting in a neutral level the unbalanced volume seems to have been decreasing that is not precisely a negative uh, impact for the stock as it seems the last time it has received there it kind of seen a little bit of, bit of a bounce up moving forward you get to see on the moving averages here that the 50 sma is above the stock price now that is bearish but the stock price is above the 200 sma it has been for quite a bit now, the 30 EMA is above the 10 SMA, that is a bearish sign, and the stock is below the trading action zone. Now, this trading action zone, if it does reach it, it's where reversals are likely and it's in a negative direction. And you get to see it has played that kind of direction before. Moving on towards the 1 hour perspective, we get to see a little bit of a similar news here. Moving averages are fully bearish here. We get to see on the ADX, it supports in a very strong trend. Now, the previous trend has been a bit more towards the negative. So that is a little bit off a negative sign to us. William percent R at times of the day was oversold and at times of the day as well was overbought. On the momentum here, it seems it's still a little bit choppy and on the MACD, it seems that that kind of positive reversal was very much, very much short lived and uh, it seems that it is a little bit of a rocky movement. Moving on, we get to see on the moving averages, the stock price is trade, it's expected to trade between 117 and the moving average band in the middle 131 and on the top 143 moving forward the fibonacci retracements and try to figure out where the supports and resistances that we're interested in are there is a significant fibonacci support at the 115 mark and a significant fibonacci resistance at the 169 moving forward towards resistances and supports i'm going to highlight them here we get to see a significant one at the dollar 01 it hasn't broken that one yet another one at the dollar 11 and then another significant support at the dollar 22 actually that's a resistance at the current time and then significant resistance at 129 136 142 154 and then 156 now significant supports and what we're looking at is the dollar 01 the 99 cents one and then we're looking down at 97 and then below that we're looking at 87 below that 83 below that 76 now there is a big doubt that it does see that level back down but it looks like it's actually stable um, a little bit after that massive jump it seems to be accumulating for some quite a bit it had its jumps which was nice this was I believe around the earnings and then it did drop below there and it's seen a little bit of movements back and forth Moving on towards news, and I'm going to go through a little bit of details here as well. A little bit of an insight to really what this company portrays. And so looking right into it, we get to see here, um, this is their website, and I'm going to go through their company portfolio first. And some of the portfolio is split into mainly five different categories. So Depot here is a marketplace, the service issuer, investor, marketplace, and broker. It was invested in 29. Uh, this is the link that it gets you when you click click more and trade without boundaries so basically for my understanding it's more of an ODC kind of platform they have a whole different website for it now some of the things that are still looking on it's active in the OTC market it's pending CMA approval for private placement capital raising and security market trading pending CMA filing for digital securities broker dealer with trading activities so that is potential as well BRs um, so this is the intelligent tier one they have credit services financial services and products government and corporate services index services capital market services and products 
going on we're gonna go liquify liquify is a bit of a different platform for uh, innovations for real estate with blockchain technology and it has a little bit of a nice platform to managing in i believe smaller real estate teams so that is exciting um ideonomics has led 2.6 million in pre-funding for that company and then logistorm logistorm ideonomics has 10 percent in there and then treelink treelink is the first company to bring true electric vehicle bikes to malaysia this was invested back in march 2019 this is the website that treelink um, has now some of the significant things that i've actually seen here um, is their current expansions so they do have existing uh, dealerships but the significant ones here are the ones to be open soon so central here they do have a bit i'm not going to go through the details for what they have but the opening soon it looks like one two three four dealerships coming up soon another thing here that a lot of people seem to have missed on is the ideonomics august newsletter and this one highlights multiple things here so of course the ld500 conference but they do have three other conferences and i did pull it up the first one happening gcff virtual conference and this one is happening on september 10th at 3 10 p.m eastern standard time and this is their um, website for the conference so it looks like there might be some exciting news as well over there the next one is the hc one um, this one is happening on the 15th of september so not far off from now um, even though the conference goes for multiple days and this is the website but it's labeled on the 15th on the company on the ideonomics newsletter moving forward the fourth china Intel, uh, intelligent electrical vehicle summit this is happening on october 22nd to 23rd so that is as well an exciting one this is their website so you can check that out as well now one of the things that is supposed to be happening on the second quarter of 2020 executing on deliveries and revenues from existing orders continuing developing diversified order pipeline develop a battery as service partners bring additional dedicated financing sources online begin building a north america ev supply chain for introduction of medic high motors works ev trucks now going on towards the latest news institutional shares seems to be a little bit stable nothing significant off the last week and no changes recently uh, there has been a little bit of adding and removing of shares for different portfolios but we're not going to discuss that here notice off annual meeting for shareholders even though that kind of created a momentary panic for some state uh, shareholders i don't see anything significant here that does say some uh, something like a reverse plate because they don't need to make do one uh, something related to increasing of shares that is not normal i do know that there is a reinstated um, plan to um, issue ones under the plan of 50 almost 57 million shares but that is understandable and has a lot of time until august 3030 but basically it looks pretty much standard and nothing no red flags that i get to see now moving forward how would i play this stock what is the trading plan for this one and what is some of the things that we're expecting to see i'm going to zoom in here just for you to see it better my expectation is this one would probably trade above the 99 cents or above the dollar now is it possible that it does see a mass short dip this is a little bit of a two red days that it has seen it was a bit more stable before then and with a market rally i do expect that we might actually see a little bit of a small jump now how big is that jump we're probably talking about the 160 marks maybe the 180 whether it sees back to the four dollars that is a that's a future question that we get to talk about later on if it does break down the break up the 16 and the 168 oh, sorry 180 but there is as well a risk to this it can go back to the 81 80 cents now i know you're probably you know upset about hearing this one but there is a chance i'm, I'm not saying it will but i'm saying there is a risk so how would i trade this one and what is my uh preference for this one here if you are in the stock from around the low dollars i would definitely say hold there is an interesting thing happening here but make sure you have a stop limit for this one so definitely i do see this one jumping up and down in terms of different spikes but in terms of the exact uh time for that that will be needed for a pr so if they release a good pr i do expect this one to run a little if they don't i expect it to bleed so for this i'm gonna give it speculative hold for this one on the midterm just because there's a lot of uncertainties and this one has been quote unquote bumped before and then uh, it had a bit of negative uh 
false news before on it as well so it's all over the place and technical analysis might not mean anything for this one um, even though it did, does look very bearish on the technical analysis point of view but sometimes technical analysis does not show everything it has a lot of different catalysts that can come up it depends on how they played and in terms of the inside of the company what do you think about this ticker make sure you mention down in the comments below share subscribe and like you have a wonderful day